Hello there, Libra. So thank you so much for joining me. This is going to be your full moon reading. The full moon is going to be March 9th. So we're going to look at the time following the full moon leading up to the new moon. So the full moon is about things that are, you know, coming to the surface, the things that are ready to be manifested. And also we're looking at working towards the new moon and releasing some things that way we are open to starting over in the new cycle. Uh, if you're new here, my name is Melissa and I do tarot readings for the new moon and the full moon. And um, there was something else I wanted to say. I did uh, take a little break and I went, oh, that's what it was. I wanted to apologize for the lighting. Um, I normally do this in the day with the window open so I have nice bright light um, so you guys can see the cards okay. But <clears throat> I couldn't get through all of them today and I had to wait till the kids went to bed. So um, it's a little bit dark and I did the best that I could with the light and I hope that you can see okay. Um, another thing I wanted to say is um, I reached a milestone on this channel and I'm super excited. I couldn't have done it without you guys. So if you um, are subscribed or are a new subscriber and you want to hit that button now, go ahead and hit that button now. And then after the video, um, I have a link in the description to um, our little celebration for me hitting 1000 subscribers. So my first big milestone and I'm super excited. Um, all right, so on to our full moon reading. I'm going to use my pen pendulum to see which deck we want to use. Which deck do we want to use for Libra? Nope, it wanted the first one. All right, we're going to be using Tarot of the Old Path. All right, um, which I believe is out of print. This is my very first deck that I ever owned, and I've had it for over 20 years, so my favorite, of course. All right, Libra. What is Libra's energy for this full moon? March 9th. Libra's energy for the full moon, March 9th, please. Alright. Ooh, the High Priestess. I haven't gotten that one yet in this round. What else do we have for Libra's energy situation? The Ace of Pentacles. Alright, I like this. I really like this. I feel like your intuition is going to lead you to a new opportunity. Like trusting your instincts is going to um, kind of reveal something new for you, a new path that I'm seeing, um, financial path, career path. Interesting. There we go. And then we have the King of Pentacles. Okay, so more Pentacles. This is the King of Pentacles. Oh, I love the way he's looking over at her. Okay. I'm going to show you the cards. Okay, so this is the High Priestess, and I don't know if you can see that very well with the lighting. It doesn't want to focus when it's not lit right. Oh, I'm sorry, guys. Okay, so this is our High Priestess. All about balance, the dark and the light, um, trusting your intuition. Um, middle card is the Ace of Pentacles. See this new path back here? I feel like your intuition is kind of leading you to this path. Um, the rabbit kind of reminds me of Alice in Wonderland, um, where he leads her, you know, down the rabbit hole. Um, that's kind of the vibe I'm getting. I feel like your intuition kind of is pushing you there. Like you want to trust the rabbit and follow the rabbit. Um, and then we have the king of pentacles. And this is how he's like looking over at her. Like, you see that? Can you see that? He's like in admiration of her. Ooh. I just saw something over there. Okay. I don't want to pay too much attention to it in case it has nothing to do with this. But uh, yeah, like I feel like your intuition is kind of like you're you're listening to that right now. Okay. And maybe you've already started to see these opportunities. Um, I, I'm really getting kind of career vibes because, you know, we have two pentacles that came out. Um, but we also, it's the king of pentacles. So it really could ju just be... Um, an opportunity with another person 
that could be career related, could be somebody at work, could be, you know, just somebody who like a recruiter kind of thing. Um, somebody who's looking for someone and I feel like that's kind of where you're at right now. Maybe you've already been contacted by this person or you know who I'm talking about and you're like waiting for them to contact you. But I feel like you, you've been trusting your gut a, a lot more lately and it's it's led you to um, a new opportunity that you're kind of, I feel like is something that you like. You, you know, you're, I don't see any indecision. I feel like you you know that you want this and you're just kind of, you're just kind of working out the details. Let's see what else we need to know from Libra. What else does Libra need to know about this full moon energy? That's way too many cards. What is it? Well, let's see. Nah, I think we'll take them. There we're face up. We have the Nine of Cauldrons. The Seven of Pentacles. More Pentacles. That uh, doesn't look as fun as the king. <laughs> then we have the king of cups, king of cauldrons in this deck. And the knight of pentacles, more pentacles. Okay, so definitely feeling something that's at work here. Okay, so we have pentacles and we have cups. Twice as many pentacles as cups. And then we have our major up here that is really blaring intuition, trusting yourself. Okay. I, I really feel like you are, you know that whatever this opportunity is, is good for you, that it will make you happy, but you're kind of afraid of the amount of work that you're going to have to put in with it. But ultimately, I think you're going to, you're going to love it. And we, you know, we have this, the Knight of Pentacles here too. There's, I feel like you're, there's a, a group of people that are kind of going to surround you in this situation, um, or that are kind of off in the peripheral that you can call on if you need to, if that makes sense. But I, I feel like you know, okay, so we have this underneath the High Priestess, um, the Nine of Cauldrons, I like, in this deck it's a little bit different and I hate the glare from my phone in the dark, Ugh, focus, eh, nah, nah, kinda, it likes me better right now. Anyways, you can kinda see, he's got like food and drink and he's like, you know, Lump. He eats well. He's being fed by this woman. She's offering him a cup here, which you can't tell because my phone won't focus. It, it's just being completely satisfied and happy and taken care of. And, you know, like you trust that he trusts that that woman is going to just bring him another drink whenever that one gets empty. You know what I mean? Um, he just knows it's going to keep coming. And I feel like it's right underneath the high priestess card so i believe that you intuitively know that everything is always going to work out and that you're always going to be provided for um, but you're a little bit worried about this new opportunity because again this is right underneath that ace of pentacles there's a new opportunity but you're not you're not you're not so sure if you want to put in the work if it's going to be worth it and then we have two two people here coming up saying yes it'll be worth it you're gonna like it and it's gonna earn you money and there's you know there's people involved I feel like that maybe even trying to get you involved um but I feel like they're there to tell you yes it'll be worth it we'll help you with the work I'm really feeling that too um that th there will be help and if you're worried about how difficult it might be don't that's what I'm saying all right, we just had two more cards pop out. Justice, yes. Okay, so, you know, all about getting, there's another path there, okay? Yeah, you're following this path. You want to follow him? You're following these animals. Follow these animals down these paths, okay? I, I really feel like that's important here is possibly wildlife. I don't know if that applies. Let me know if it does. Then guess what? We have another king He's a little bit more smug looking. I'm also drawn to his necklace. It looks like, oh, I hope it focuses. You see that? Looks like a dream catcher. So, um, and the, the wands are about rods, wands. They're about, you know, motivation and passion and going for what motivates you. And I feel like 
I'm getting like follow your dreams. Like if this is like a dream job or something that you've been kind of wanting, don't be afraid of it. Like the justice is, is, you know, like you've earned this. This is what you deserve. Justice is all about getting what you deserve and, and being fair and balanced, right? We have that. And who am I talking to? I'm talking to Libra, Libra the balancer, right? Like you want everything to be balanced. And I, this justice card is telling you it will be balanced. You'll have just as much fun as you will work and it'll all balance out in the end. So that's what I'm getting for you here. Let me see if any other advice comes out. But I think really right now, I feel like the guidance for you is just the reassurance that it's going to be fine and not to worry about anything. Well, let's see if we have any advice. Advice for me. Page of Swords. Okay, so if you were waiting for some kind of communication like this, maybe, this communication that, you know, it's communication. Page is the messenger. The swords are about communication. This is your, like, verification, validation. I keep mixing those words up. This is your validation. This, this is saying, here's your message. This is your message. So I guess there is no advice. The advice is, this is your message. So... Uh, I'd like to wrap it up here, keep it nice and short for you. If you have any questions, let me know if this resonated. If it didn't resonate, check out your moon, rising, Venus signs, or any other awesome YouTubers. Um, we all have different messages sometimes. So uh, if this didn't resonate, it's not for you. Go ahead and uh, let me know who else uh, has your message. But thank you so much for watching. And don't forget to hit that subscribe button and check out the video for my 1,000 subscriber celebration. And I will see you in the next one. Thank you so much and have a blessed day.